guys, what's happening? And welcome to a brand new episode of Comics! So you're probably noticing that the scenery behind my head's just a smidge bit different. Well, that's because I'm sitting on my floor as opposed to the chair behind me. Richard, why are you sitting on your floor? I'm sitting on my floor because I have a brand new rug and it makes my butt feel comfy. But that's completely irrelevant to the topic at hand, so let's give you guys some comic book news, shall we? So the DC comic side of things, I have one thing to talk about and one thing only. What I hold in my hands is a Batman story that is going to go down in history as one of the best Batman stories ever written, and it's going to be revered alongside other great Batman classics as Batman Year One, Long Halloween, Killing Joke, Dark Knight Returns, Hush, all those great Batman stories. This is a new addition into the long line of great Batman stories. And the funny thing is, it doesn't even star Bruce Wayne as Batman. It has Dick Grayson as Batman. How mind-blowing is that? I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the entire 11-issue run of Scott Snyder, Jock, and Francesco Francovilla's run on Detective Comics. So the last issue of this run came out this week, but I have to talk about the whole thing because this is a amazing Batman run. Uh, Scott Snyder, who writes this entire run, you know, every time I see his name on a comic, I have to read it. Same for you. If you see Scott Snyder's name on any comic book, please, for the love of God, read it, because if you don't, you are sorely missing out. However, it's not just Scott Snyder who makes this such a great Batman run. It's also the artists, Jock and Francesco Francovilla. They both add something so fantastic to every single panel that they draw, every single page that they draw. Normally, having two artists is a bit jarring, but the way it was done was very well done. It was great. Amazing, even. If you haven't figured it out, I give the entire run of Detective Comics a 5 out of 5. It is so good. You have to read it. You just have to. Anyways, that's about it for what I got at DC Comics. Let's switch it over to Carter, who is going to give you some awesome Marvel news. Thank you, Richard. In terms of Marvel news, all of these teaser images have been released of, of, of a new Fantastic Four series. It's still Jonathan Hickman is the guy who's writing the series currently. All these images have been released hinting that it may be going back to the original Fantastic Four numbering. Fantastic Four ended with this issue. Then they became the FF, which stands for Future Foundation, and Spider-Man joined the team instead of Johnny Storm. I haven't been enjoying FF as much as Fantastic Four. That being said, if these promo images are telling the truth, and if you haven't seen them yet, go look at them, because they have pictures of the original Fantastic Four with Spider-Man, which is leading everybody to believe that they're bringing Johnny Storm back. I don't want them to bring Johnny Storm back. I thought that this death was going to be one that actually stuck around for a while. I knew he would come back eventually. I mean, everyone does. That's just inevitable. But Jonathan Hickman wrote this huge epic that resulted in his death. He made sure that the fans knew that this wasn't some gimmick. And if they bring him back so soon, that's what it makes it. It makes it a gimmick. I, I really like this news. What do you think? Do you think that it's too soon to bring him back? Or do you think that, you know, FF is not really working? They need to get it back to the basics, no matter if it kind of renders everything that happened before useless. So um, that's pretty much it for me. I'll hand it back to Richard. Thank you, Carter. Now, before we actually get to comics comments, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. So last week, I took you guys with me to my comic book store, Build Books and More, link down below to the website. Now, there was one thing I did not show you, but I'm going to show it to you now. So here's that. What you drawing there? Drawing cap for Bill. That's pretty good. Is this the, that's the cap from the movie? Or is uh, that regular cap? I'm just kind of, do my own version. Kind of take the parts I like that are fun to draw. That's cool. I'm not afraid of the wings. I like changing the A. So you're giving it your own spin. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how you do it. And uh, you work for uh, IDW and Hasbro? Uh, Hasbro. Hasbro. Anyways, work that was his power. alongside IDW. He was to do you draw all this, or what do you do? Uh, kind of a creative director. Um, kind of guide the whole <laughs> creative part of the franchise a That's little cool. bit. Decide who lives and dies kind of thing. Oh, okay. So, if anyone important dies, you're the first person I'm coming after. Sure. sure. <laughs> There's some people who think that. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been drawing for? Uh, I've been drawing since I was, before I was even in school. I didn't color very well, so I drew my brother's coloring books. That's really cool. So, uh, and then when he went out the line, you're like, what are you doing? Yeah, and I never believed in going out of the line. It's okay. <laughs> Movies, comics, video games, toys, you've done it all, haven't you? I've uh, participated in a lot of cool stuff, yeah. Of all, of all the things, what would you say is absolute, absolute, absolute coolest? That just like kind of blew your mind, like wow, I'm doing this. Uh, I've been part of the team that helped the movies get made. That's definitely. cool. 
I'm gonna go look at the store, but thank you for talking to me. Oh, no problem. Was it Nike Yeah. I talked to the creative vice president of Hasbro Toys, Aaron Archer. Now, I don't know if you guys know his name, but he's a very important guy. <laughs> so it wasn't like a big formal interview or anything like that. It was just a nice little chat that I had with him, and it was pretty cool that I got to do that. Anyways, now it's time for my all-time favorite segment, Comics Comments! So for Comics Comments this week, we're gonna talk about the Bat Wing, or the Bat Copter. It's, it's one of the two. It looks more like Bat Wing than Bat Copter, but Either way, it's still awesome. In the comments below, yes, tell me, what do you think of the Batwing? And if you haven't seen any of the pictures, I'll put a link down below uh, to an image so you guys can check it out for yourself. Anyways, that's about it for us here at Comics. Couple of things I want to tell you about before you go. So for the past couple of days, I've been trying to do a Rise of Play of the Apes video review, and I haven't done that yet, but I do have a written review for you guys. I'll put a link down below. Please check it out. And also, don't forget to like this video, follow Carter and I on Facebook and Twitter. Links are always down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, favorite this video if you want to, and we'll see you guys next weekend with a brand new episode of Comics. Bye bye. Wee. Oh, and one more thing: don't forget to watch, watch Walking Turtles. Okay. What? Bring it. You're going. Bring down. it on.